Color Finale 2 features a layers workflow, where tools can be added any number of times and in any order. Let's start with a three-way color corrector. Here, you will find lift, gamma, and gain controls, as well as global saturation. I'm going to set a basic look for this shot. If I feel like maybe I've pushed this look too far, I can dial it back. Each layer has an opacity slider. Blend modes are also available for making targeted adjustments and stylistic decisions. I can add as many layers as I want. For instance, this is my base look, but I want to experiment a bit in the midtones. I can just add another three-way color corrector to make that adjustment. Color Finale 2 adds masks to any layer. Let's make a vignette. Dial down the gain and midtones by about 10% and enter masks mode. The interface will change over to shape drawing and tracking. Create a circle and invert the mask. Experiment with the feathering. The three-way color corrector is CDL compliant. This makes Color Finale 2 useful for near set, dailies, and VFX workflows by allowing the interchange of color decisions between various software platforms in this open standard. Curves are a great way to make targeted adjustments. In this shot, there are a lot of very strong colors in the frame. By using the color picker tool, I can identify values for anything in the shot and make an adjustment. For instance, controlling the reds in the shadows. Secondary curves allow precision control over specific hues in the image. I have access to hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, hue versus luminance, saturation versus luminance, and saturation versus saturation control. Similarly, the six vector control takes primary and secondary hues and opens them up to hue and luminance offsets. Both the curves and the vectors can be used in combination with masks. LUTs can also be loaded as a layer, rather than in the inspector. Masks can be used more drastically, like in this shot. The highlights are blowing out in the window. When we toggle into log mode, we can see there is enough detail in the negative. By dialing back the highlights on a lower layer and making a mask, I can recover the detail in this window. Masks can also be tracked and adjusted. For instance, I can track just this vehicle in this aerial shot. 